My name is Bob Lindsay and I'm running for Los Angeles County Sheriff. Today I have with me people from the community who have stories to tell all of you. You know my story. I'm running for sheriff and I support CCWs. I support shall issue and I support good cause is self-defense. And there are a lot of reasons why but I would like you today to hear some of the stories that I have heard in my travels throughout LA County. And in doing that, let's have each person here at the table introduce yourselves. We'll start down at this end. Hi, I'm uh, Keith Reeves. I'm a, a resident of Laverne. Um, several years ago, I applied for a concealed carry permit and was denied. Um, I'm a university professor. I teach biblical studies. I'm an ordained minister. I'm a licensed uh, certified firearms instructor, and members of my family were threatened. But that was not a good enough reason for me to get a concealed carry permit. My name is Daryl Evans. I'm an academic advisor in higher education. I also believe that uh, people should be allowed to have a concealed weapons permit, and personal self-defense should be uh, the standard justification. My name is Bill Skiles. I'm a um, U.S. Army Vietnam veteran, uh, an honorably retired police officer from the city of Los Angeles. Um, and I'm very concerned uh, about our citizens' ability to be able to protect themselves out there, especially during these times. My name is William Elliott. Uh, I live in West Covina, and I started an organization called West Covina CCW on Facebook. And we started advocating for concealed carry in West Covina. And we found out that our city hasn't issued a concealed carry permit, not one, since 1978, 39 years. Well, you know, and, I, and thank you all for being here, first of all. I appreciate your being here. In Los Angeles County, there are 10.1 million people. And the current sheriff has issued 197 concealed weapon permits. And of those, 24 of them are being argued right now, which would take it into the 170 mark. For me, this isn't okay. And I don't think it's okay for anybody here at this table either. Here's why we're here today. We're here to discuss the issues that are important, not only to us, but to you, those out there in the community. This county, Los Angeles County, the crime is soaring. It's skyrocketing. Despite what the current sheriff says, it's up all over the county. Police response times are lower. So in other words, if you call for a policeman or a policewoman, when are they gonna get there? It's gonna take maybe 10 minutes to get there, and that's the average when we have a shooting or when we have a, a mass incident. It takes about 10 to 11 minutes for the response to get there. And in the meantime, Who's there to protect you? The only people are security guards or those that have been issued CCWs. Right now, all of us residents here in LA County, which would include me, are protected by residents from other counties who are issued CCWs. So they issue them in San Bernardino County, Ventura County, Orange County, and I just pray that they're all visiting LA County when I'm at the mall and something happens because they can defend us, but all of us here in LA County aren't given that opportunity. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to go around the table if we can and just hear a couple of the stories. stories these are real stories, these aren't made up. These are real stories of real people and situations that when I hear them, it disgusts me. In fact, I'm appalled by the fact that it is so hard in LA County to be issued a CCW. So let's start right down at the end, if we can, and tell us what your situation was or is. Well, I had applied for a concealed carry permit, um, and it took me, uh, well, a year and a half before my denial, but in that meantime, I, I sent 22 letters to my local police chief. I also told about when a family member had been threatened, and when I was denied, I went to my city council and I said, why was I denied? I, I've got the qualifications. I'm an NRA certified firearms instructor in multiple disciplines. 
I have a squeaky clean record. I've told you about my personal background. And uh, they appeared to be sympathetic, but the chief of police then stood up at the meeting and said he was no longer going to issue concealed carry permits in the city of Laverne. We'd have to go to the county. Well, as Bob has already said, there's only 197 permits in the county, so how is that, how am I supposed to get a permit with that? So I'm not able to, uh, to carry. Um, I've handled firearms all my life. I've had tactical training. In fact, I have more training than many of the local policemen uh, in our area. But that is not good enough, according to uh, our current sheriff. You know, this is a perfect example of someone sitting right here at this table that is trained, certified, an instructor who could at any mall or if he happens to be taking children to school and something happens, he could be the first line of defense. Yet, we don't let that happen here in LA County. That needs to change. Let's go down to the other end. Your constitutional rights shouldn't be dictated by what zip code you live in. And we have neighbors right across the county line who basically live in a unrestricted community that they can get a concealed carry permit with good cause being self-defense. That's all we're asking for. You know, in West Covina, our police chief did the exact same thing. We started to get political traction and he abdicated his authority and he sidestepped his responsibility to the people of West Covina and turned his power to issue concealed carry permits over to the LA County Sheriff. Uh, I personally had a meth lab across the street from my house and when we finally got the people out of there, they left a parting gift as uh, firing a round through my living room window. And uh, I have no chance of getting a concealed carry permit in West Covina with the current conditions the way it is in not only West Covina but in Los Angeles County and that's what we're trying to change. You know, statistics show that about two and a half million people are saved each year by legal carrying issued firearms and people who use them to stop crime. CCWs, people who hold CCWs, there's about 500,000 that prevent crime or stop crime. Each year there's about 200,000 females who stop assaults based on the fact they have a firearm or stop a rape or stop themselves from being maybe even murdered. These are important statistics that are often overlooked. These are the things that we need to take a look at as a community. I know there's a lot of people that believe that guns kill people. Well, we need to take a look at the other side of the coin and talk about how guns save people. And I believe that all of us need to sit down and have just a common sense discussion about just following the laws of the state and then issuing CCWs to the people who are going to be responsible. With that, let's have another story. You know, as a young police officer, I went out and I was very proactive. I wanted to protect the streets where I grew up. I worked some very tough areas in South Central LA and, and over in the East LA area. And I got to tell you, I've never been shot by a good person, a law-abiding citizen, but I did get shot by a bad guy. My career was ended, and I still carry one of those bullets in me to this day. Now, I suppose if anyone at this table would be opposed to guns, it would be me. But I've got to tell you, it wasn't the gun that injured me. It was the bad guy that was holding that gun and trying to kill me. As a young officer, we were taught when we would go to calls and people would say, we're going to go get a gun, we're going to protect ourselves because you guys didn't get here fast enough we would give them the canned answer that we were taught. And that was, don't do anything. Let the police do this. This is what we're paid to do. This was what we told folks. But I gotta tell you, working some very tough areas, I very quickly, within a year, I just said, I've seen too many victims that could have protected themselves. In fact, it got to a point where I used to ask people when at these crime scenes, I would say, do you have a gun? And if they said no, I would say go out and buy one and train with it. If you have one, train with it. Know what you're doing because when it comes to protecting you, 
As an officer, I did my very best, in fact, probably broke some department <laughs> rules to get to someone that was in need. That's how, that's how I was an officer. And there are a lot of other police officers like that, like me, out there today. The problem is, they can get to you in minutes, you're only going to have seconds to act. And that's why today, I went down, uh, uh, in the past, I'm here today because I went with Professor Reeves down to the Laverne City Council, and I saw the stubbornness of this council in not even willing to listen to common sense for people that needed to be able to carry and defend themselves and their families, and that's why I'm here today. You know, all over this county there are businessmen, there are families that need to protect themselves. And I guess the question that I would have to the community is, how are they supposed to do that? Right now we have about 1,200 deputy vacancies in the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department, 250 or so sergeant vacancies. That means they're not there. They're simply not there. So if we don't have policemen who can respond, then who is supposed to take care of the issues that happen when they happen? Now, don't get me wrong. As he said, deputies, police officers all over this county are going to get there as fast as they can. And I pray they get there safe because trust me, in 40 years of law enforcement, I've seen officers who have been going somewhere too fast and they never made it there. That is dangerous for them. But what we need to do now is take a good, hard, strong look at how do we protect the community when law enforcement can't get there. And to me, it's taking citizens, it's taking people who are willing to go through a rigorous background, a strong background, go through the training that they get. And the training isn't simple. You have to qualify. And then taking that training, taking the classes that you have, and that would include not only shooting, but taking care of the weapon, how you store the weapon, and how you use the weapon. All of these things are important. But as was said at this side of the table, most CCW carry carriers never, ever utilize their weapons. But when it's there, it's available to save themselves or somebody else. Also, only 2% of the usage of a CCW or of a registered weapon are bad. Bad shootings, bad this, or just a bad decision. And by that, I mean this. That's counting even if somebody has a weapon that is a CCW and they inadvertently take it into an airport and they're arrested. They're not going to do anything with it, but let's face it, they, didn't, they shouldn't have taken it in there and now what's happening is they're arrested. And that's a bad statistic that goes against the CCW carrier. So lastly, but not leastly, we have another story. And I heard this story today and it appalls me not only from the sense of it's egregious, but it also from the fact that here is a man who simply wants to be safe here in Los Angeles County. Evidence proves he's not safe, and yet nobody wants to help him. Nobody wants to do anything for him, except respond when it's too late. And yes, the response is great. Yes, the response is wonderful, but it doesn't help him when he's sitting in the hospital. So with that, can you share with us what happened to you? Sure. Uh, let me preface this by saying I have the utmost respect for law enforcement, but they can't always be there. Uh, since 2012, I've had a series of hate crimes against me. Uh, I've had Diana Gurdai written on my house, Diana Gurdai written on my car, I've had a car stolen and torched. And then in January of 2016, January 29th to be exact, I was hit in the head with a steel pipe by working in my garage. I had applied for a concealed weapons permit prior to that, and unfortunately, my local chief denied me. And in the denial, he had the nerve to tell me, uh, well, Mr. Evans, I'm afraid someone's going to call you a nigger and you're going to shoot them. Another reason he said for his denial was he was concerned about his legacy. How's my legacy going to look as a, as a police chief if you should shoot someone? Uh, unfortunately, you know, I, 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 
I backed off at that point. I couldn't pursue it. Uh, but after being assaulted in, in January, I, I did pursue it. I was finally issued that permit. But it's unfortunate that it takes something like an assault, you know, a traumatic brain injury before someone can obtain a, a permit in some of these cities in Southern California. Well, you know, it's one thing w when you're threatened. It's another thing when you have racist comments and things like that that have occurred to you. Because you know the person doing that isn't thinking rationally anyway. So when you have something like that, having a hate crime, in an incident like this, wherein the victim is asking police for help, is asking the system to help, is asking the Second Amendment to help, and they're denied, you have to ask yourself, where have we come? You know, it's not like this in some of the other counties, but it's like that here in LA County. And that's what needs to change. There's no reason he deserved to be laying in the hospital. No reason. Because had he been able to defend himself, had suspects known this guy has a CCW, and let's talk about that for a second. We all know that when people know there's guns around, these cowards who want to come hurt you don't like to fight fair. They know if they walk into a donut shop with five policemen in there, they're not going to get away with a robbery. If they're walking into a business and they know it's armed, they know it's going to be difficult to get away. But then when they walk in to schools or gun safe zones, they know they're easy targets. These are all of the things we have to change here in LA County. But as you hear the stories around this table, each one of them is different. Each one of these citizens Patriots, Los Angeles County residents have a different story. They have a different life. They have a different background. But all of them come together for one reason. They want to protect themselves. They want to protect their families. They don't want to be threatened. They just simply want to be able to apply their constitutional right. And that's what's being stepped on right now. So here in Los Angeles County, we need to get together, not just to have a discussion about what's happened to you and the threats you've received and the harm that's come to you, but we have to have a real discussion about changing what's happening in Los Angeles County. We have to go ahead and take Los Angeles County and make it a place where criminals aren't the only ones with guns. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, I have 40 years of law enforcement experience. I've been shot at twice, and I can tell you that the two times I was shot at, they weren't law-abiding citizens. It was people who were trying to hurt us. And I will also tell you that all the rules, all the laws, it doesn't matter what you do. You see these people right here sitting around me? They're going to follow the law. They're going to walk around with no guns, even though they have the capability of successfully using one. They're willing to go through the background. They're willing to go through the training. They're willing to go out in the public and save you or I at the expense of risking their own lives. So all of us need to take another look at this and take a look at voting on June 5th, 2018, to bring to Los Angeles County something that hasn't been here in decades. And that's the people's right. The people's right to protect themselves. The people's right to carry concealed weapons if, in fact, they want to. Now, it doesn't mean that you out there who don't like guns or who are afraid of guns need not apply. It's okay because somebody who does apply is going to be there to protect you. So with that, my name is Bob Lindsay and I'm running for Los Angeles County Sheriff. My name is Bob Lindsay. Let's make Los Angeles County America's safest place.